Good morning, Mr. Carlson, Assistant Principal here at the Middle School. And before we begin, uh, we want to thank all of you. We want to thank you, students, parents, and guardians, for your per perseverance during this unprecedented time, this time of different learning, different teaching. You persevered. And now we want to celebrate your two years here at the middle school. And we also want to wish you well as you move forward on to high school. So again, enjoy our ceremony. and We look forward to seeing everyone at 10 o'clock. Thank you. Take care. Hello. I hope this finds you all happy and healthy. Um, I'm here today to present the three awards for Eight White English. The first award is an Academic Excellence Award for Accelerated English. This award goes to a young lady who has outstanding work ethic, um, is an incredible peer to her fellow students, and works extremely hard. It is my pleasure to give Emily Gleason the Academic Excellence Award for Accelerated English. The second award that I am about to present goes to a young man in the eight white English class who um, often doesn't give himself enough credit but works very hard at everything he puts his mind to, does an incredible job. Um, it is with great pleasure that the Eight White English Academic Excellence Award goes to Peter Hart. Um, and finally, the Eight White Sachem Award for English goes to a young lady who has several talents who does not often um, give herself enough credit uh, for her incredible artistic ability as well as her creative writing ability. And it is my pleasure to award the Eight White Sachem Award in English to Nargis Musa. I hope that everyone is staying healthy and that we are together again soon. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mr. Perrin, and I teach history on the eight white team at Pentucket Regional Middle School. It's my pleasure to announce my two award winners this year in history. I'd like to first start with my academic award winner, which is Emily Gleason. Emily had a terrific year in history uh, in all aspects of everything that we did. Emily is someone who puts her best foot forward every day. Uh, when she completes an assignment, it's always done to her best abilities. I'm not really surprised that we're at this point for Emily. Uh, everything she has done has been excellent. She conducts herself well in class. She's thoughtful when she speaks. Uh, she has made my job a lot easier and my job more enjoyable. Uh, so Emily is well deserving of this award and I'm happy to announce her as my award winning academic achiever this year. My second award I would like to go is my Sachem Award. And this year it's going to go to a person who's in the same class as Emily and that's Ben Drescher. Uh, the only thing that Ben has done this year to annoy me is when he's been absent because when he's absent period six um, it's a little tougher to get things going, a little harder to get conversations going. Ben is always someone if you ask him a question he always has an opinion. If you need to get more information about the Tom Brady trade to Tampa Bay he's the person to go to. Uh, he starts our classroom every day. Uh, anytime we need a conversation to go to get started Ben's the person we go to. He's a perfect gentleman. Um, he conducts himself the way you'd like to see a young man conduct himself in school. He has made uh, my year a lot more enjoyable. So Ben, congratulations. And again, I'd like to congratulate both Emily and Ben, two deserving people. And I'd also like to thank my son, John, for filming this for me. Thank you. This year, Chloe Newman receives the Academic Achievement Award in my eighth grade math class with an average of 99.29% for the year. Chloe is a wonderful student. She always puts 100% into everything that she does. And she's not, a, not afraid to ask questions and she just does an excellent job for me um, um, and does all the challenging work that I assign. 
In my Algebra 1 accelerated class, the Academic Achievement Award goes to Brooke Zineski with an average for the year of 98.98%. Like Chloe, Brooke is another person who does 100% and more of the work that's involved. She never, uh, never passes by any extra credit work and she handles, handles herself very well. She's always well prepared in class and uh, never afraid to ask questions. And finally, my SAGEM award goes to Emily Higgins. Um, she was a member of the math team this year. Um, she also tutored seventh grade students uh, math during the, the course of the year. She was always prepared for class, always had great responses when it called upon and is just a wonderful person. We're going to miss all three of these individuals next year. So good luck to all of you. Hi, welcome. It's me, Mrs. Freeman, eight white science teacher. I just wanted to welcome you to the award ceremony today. I wanted to present the eight white academic achievement award to a wonderful student who has worked incredibly hard all year long. In addition to that, she has had the highest grade point average. The award goes to Brooke Sineski. Great job, Brooke, congratulations. I'm sure you'll do wonderful and amazing things. We look forward to seeing that in the near future. With that being said, I also would like to present the Eight White Sachem Award. The Eight White Sachem Award goes to another incredible student, someone who has produced the highest quality work. She shows her gratitude and appreciation all the time. She reminds me daily of why I became a teacher. This award goes to Gabriella Balacqua. Congratulations, Gabby. I'm sure you'll be amazing. Thank you. Hi, Pentucket families. Um, I'm Jessica Verkaterin, and I'm the Eight Green ELA teacher. So I'm here to present the English Language Arts Awards for eight green students, and I have three awards to give today. The first award is for Accelerated English, and this award goes to a student who is very humble, quiet, um, but also incredibly gifted in English. She is a natural writer. She is a natural thinker um, with a great sense of humor if you take the time to get to know her. And that is Lindsay Whalen. Um, Lindsay Whalen consistently, um, consistently crushed every assignment this year. She's a pleasure to work with and a pleasure to read. So I look forward to see what you do in the future, Lindsay. My second award is for my English language arts general ed class. And that award goes to a very hardworking student, incredibly conscientious. Um, she is eager to always grow and be better. Um, she is kind of quiet about it, but she did a tremendous job this year. And that is Julia Conley. So Julia, you've earned the second award. Nice job. Uh, finally, for the third award, I have the opportunity and pleasure to give a Sachem Award. And the English Sachem Award is a little bit different than just um, highest achiever. Uh, this award is more about community and making the school a better place. And this student came right to mind when I was thinking about it. Um, this student comes in every day and has a natural positivity. She uh, is naturally engaged. She likes to be in discussions. And when I'm struggling at the front of the room, really trying to get students to take a risk, this student always stepped up. And that student is Lauren Walsh. So thank you, Lauren, and congratulations. Um, I wanna say congratulations to all my students because you're all incredibly special. I could only give out three awards, but um, we're gonna miss you greatly and I can't wait to hear about your futures. Um, thank you for this wonderful year and thank you to the families. Bye-bye. Hello, Pentucket families. This eighth grade class of 2020 has been a great group. I was extremely sad that our year in school was truncated, not just because of the challenges that come with remote learning, and staying home, but because the personalities that made up this eighth grade made it a really fun year. So thanks for raising such a great group. There were some outstanding performers in my social studies class this year, and it was incredibly difficult 
to just have one academic award. So I'm breaking the rules a little and I'm gonna give two. The first goes to a wonderful young lady who had to endure with watching me fumble through my first period class of a brand new social studies curriculum. The period one class was somewhat of a guinea pig class in many respects. She didn't know it, but I would often gauge the worthiness of a learning activity by watching how this student reacted to it, such as the respect that I have for her ability to critically think and express opinion. Her work was always of a high standard and her natural ability to think and care about the world came through in pretty much everything that she did in my class. Congratulations and thanks go to Masama Yakabuchi, who gets my first academic award. My second academic award goes to another incredible student. This student was also an excellent gauge for me to determine how we were doing in our class with the new curriculum. It was also not lost on me that she laughed at my jokes, which most of the other students would miss or probably does not find very funny. As well as being brilliant, both as a critical thinker and writer, she is also extremely caring and would often help out any student who needed it, whether or not they deserved her help or not. A fabulous student and person with a great sense of humor, I had to give an academic award to Sophia Hughes. Congratulations and thank you, Sophia. Lastly, my uh, Sachem Award goes to an incredible young man who always brought joy to both me, his class, and the entire school in general. A hard worker with an awesome attitude, this kid is gonna go far. Polite, bright, well-mannered, and fun to be around, this student not only did well in my class, but also bugged every teacher in the school for possible news stories so he could put them into the school newspaper. I was harassed after school on one, on more than one occasion, but it was always fun and done with class and humor. So my Sachem Award goes to the one and only Riley Kamet. Congratulations on being a great young man, Riley. Morning, everybody. Mr. Gilmore here to present my eighth grade math awards for my uh, two classes, my accelerated algebra and my regular eighth grade math classes. Uh, as usual, the competition was very tough, very close and fierce. Okay, so let's get right to it. For my accelerated algebra class, the top award winner got the best score, was a terrific math student, member of the math team who consistently uh, scored near the top in all of the math league tournaments. Uh, I don't think uh, she missed a point all year. Uh, so the award goes to Lily Friend. Congratulations, Lily. Nice job. The uh, top scorer in my regular eighth grade math classes uh, goes to another top performer. This student was the strong, silent type. Uh, never made a peep in class, but she sure knew her stuff. And she always had a smile. So my top award for my regular eighth grade math class goes to Natalie Filipov. Nice job, Natalie. My last award uh, goes to another math rock star in my accelerated algebra class who uh, missed the top award, the one that Lily won, by two hundredths of a percent. Uh, did, a, did a great job all year long. That award goes to Julia Connolly. Okay, so nice job. All three of these young ladies did an absolutely fantastic job this year in eighth grade, and I expect they're going to do an equally fantastic job as ninth graders. So once again, uh, congratulations to these three and good luck. Hello, Pentucket Middle School, class of 2020. I am pleased to present the Academic Award for Science for the Eight Green class. Uh, the student who wins this award consistently goes above and beyond the call of duty. Any assignment that I give when I collect it and I read hers, I am astounded by the level of quality, thought, and depth of detail that goes into the work. Consistently high scorer, um, consistently focused. She just quietly goes about doing her work and astounds me every time with exceptional work. So congratulations, the Science Achievement Award goes to Lindsay Whalen. 
Lindsay, I know you'll go far in life, and I'm very proud to have been your eighth grade science teacher. Good luck in the future. My Sachem Award goes to a student who is involved in many, many things at school. Often when I'm out and about in the school community, I will see him in various situations. He is always positive with every single peer and adult that he sees in the building. He's extraordinarily helpful to everybody that he meets. In fact, uh, he's basically my science assistant in science class. He takes on any job that I have, happily does it and does it very well. An excellent worker and an excellent school citizen. So my Sachem Award goes to Dominic O'Terry. Congratulations, Dominic. I'm proud of you. Have a good summer. The Academic Achievement Award for 2019-2020 in Pursuit of Happiness or 8th grade Civics or History goes to Charlotte Smith. Charlotte, you never did anything wrong, <laughs> ever. You got everything right. And it wasn't just a cookie cutter, I'm going to regurgitate what I know you want me to hear. It was deep and thoughtful answers because the curriculum this year wasn't just multiple choice. It was, you've got to show what you think and you've got to show you know your stuff. And you always did. They say still waters run. The 2019-2020 Sachem Award for Pursuit of Happiness or 8th Grade Civics goes to Haley Card. Haley, I chose you for this award because this is an award that goes to a kid who is just awesome, plain and simple. It maybe defies definition or characterization or fitting into the nice, neat box that perhaps an academic achievement might. You have qualities that stand out to me. You have grit, you have perseverance, you have stick to you have humor, you have character, you have integrity. And not that other people don't, but I've never known a kid who was willing to go so hard, so far out of the way, when they could have taken the... Hi, I want to congratulate Charlotte Smith from my eighth grade math class for the uh, Academic Excellence Award. Charlotte, you did a great job this year staying focused. Your work was always neat and organized. You never hesitated to ask for extra help, and it was always a pleasure to teach you. Good luck next year. Best wishes. I want to congratulate Ava Haynes from my eighth grade math class for receiving the Sachem Award this year. Ava, you've done an awesome job in class, out of class, socially, academically. You have a great head on your shoulders, and I wish you all the best next year. Peace. Good morning, and congratulations to all the eighth graders on your great success. I'm Mrs. Hackett, the World Languages Department Chair, and I have the great pleasure of announcing the German and Latin Awards this year. The German Academic Award goes to Lindsay Whalen. Lindsay is an excellent student and she's always very supportive of her other classmates. Congratulations, Lindsay. The Latin Academic Award goes to Massima Yakabuchi. Massima is a conscientious student who's a leader in her class. Congratulations, Massima. I also had the pleasure of announcing the Sachem Awards in German and Latin. I'm giving three Sachem Awards in German to Anthony De Palma. Alex Donovan, and Ben Turpin. Their participation throughout the year and during the Google Meets was extraordinary. Congratulations. The two Latin sachems are Victoria Wilson and Jordan Flaherty. Their participation throughout the year and during the Google Meets was equally extraordinary. Congratulations. Congratulations to our 2020 Academic Spanish Award winner, Lily and Friend. Lily richly deserved a list of people who might have received this prize. Okay, you're not alone. You weren't the only person on the list, but it was a really short list. You get it all the first time. You're able to put it all together. You're very talented, as I think you humbly know. I congratulate you. I urge you to consider and embrace, as many people have said through the centuries, that to whom much is given, much is required. So as a super talented person, get used to the idea that you're gonna 
work harder and work longer and work when many of your friends are goofing off. Uh, and that is our very rewarding lot in life. So I congratulate you once again. I look forward to seeing you in the future and ciao for now. Congratulations to our 2020 Spanish Sachem Award winner, Alyssa Wood. Alyssa, this is richly deserved. When I was asked to select a Sachem Award based on attitude and other attributes of that kind, there was no question in my mind. There was no one else on the list. It was going to be Alyssa Wood. I congratulate you on your great attitude, your great classroom citizenship, your eagerness to learn, your consistent cheerfulness, and your many other wonderful attributes. I'm very happy to tell the world today that Alyssa Wood has no impediment, whereas I have known many other students who are impeded by, let's just say not having as great an attitude and work ethic as Alyssa does. So I congratulate you once again. I look forward to seeing you in the future. You have my very best wishes and ciao for now. Hello, my name is Marcia Nato. I'm the head of the Fine and Performing Arts Department and honored to be able to announce this year's award recipients in visual arts and in band. While I speak for the department when I say we are very proud of the accomplishments of every one of our students and this selection process is difficult, we have chosen two students to receive the Visual Arts Award. The first is Alex Donovan and Nargis Musa. In band, we have also chosen two students, Lillian Friend and Adam Hanula. Congratulations to you all, and thank you for your commitment to your art studies. You are part of what makes Pentucket such a special place. The academic award for choir is going to Abigail Boland, and the Sachem award for choir is going to Jordan Flaherty. The awards for orchestra are going to Emily Higgins, and the award for percussion ensemble is going to Noah Reynolds. The award for theater is going to Alexandra Cowan. Hi, um, this is Mr. McDonald presenting the STEM award for eighth grade. I'd like to uh, call Adam Hanula. Congratulations, Adam. You had some excellent STEM projects, uh, detailed and well thought out, and uh, great follow through, buddy. So congratulations and good luck in high school. See ya. Hi, I'm Mrs. Snow and I'll be presenting the Community Service Award. Every year, eighth grade students from Pawtucket are nominated for Project 351. Project 351's mission is to be an innovative statewide youth-driven organization that unites eighth grade students from 351 cities and towns in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for a transformative year of leadership development. These young ambassadors gain valuable skills, change communities, and build a statewide network of values in the Commonwealth. The students nominated for Project 351 are always willing to lend a helping hand, show compassion, and put other people's feelings and needs ahead of their own. They are hardworking and are outstanding young men and women. They continue to make me proud in all that they do. I look forward to seeing what they do in their futures and working with them on more service projects. Congratulations to this year's ambassadors. Emily Higgins, Cheney Goldstein, Ben Drescher, and Hunter Soap. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hackett, the Student Council Advisor. I want to give a shout out to four very important members of the Student Council this year. Ava Snyder, our President. Helen Burke, our Vice President. Cheney Goldstein, our Secretary and Communications Director. And Nathaniel Schramko, our Treasurer. We had such a wonderful time together this year. Um, coordinating student council events. Ava was always professional and has such a good heart. Cheney is such a communications genius. Helen is so creative and Nathaniel is very practical. We made a really good team and we had a really great year. Thank you so much to all of you.
morning, eighth graders. Mrs. Goldweber and I wanted to just send you off with a personal message. Um, I do hope you're all doing well, and I hope you can find a time to really celebrate the end of eighth grade this summer. Um, I was really sad that we couldn't finish a quarter three and that we missed the whole quarter four group, but I just wanted to tell you that I wish you all the best. Um, don't be strangers, keep in touch. You, you know, you know where to find us and we just hope, I look forward to hearing really great things about all the things you do in your future. So I wish you all well. This is Gold Weber. Hi eighth graders. I just wanna say that I miss you all. I miss all our laughs during gym class, all our intense competitions and even the moments where we might have missed a ball or two. It was all good. So I wish you all the best. Uh, whether you're heading to Pentucket or another high school, I highly recommend that you get involved at the high school level, especially if you are athletes, go out for those sports teams. It provides you a great opportunity to meet new friends and have that sense of a second family. I had some great memories at Pentucket myself as a student, so I can only wish that the same memories that I had for you. And I just want you all to know to keep moving your body, both your mind and your body. Make sure that you are doing what you like to do and what you enjoy to do. And really next year is your opportunity to create yourself and go challenge yourself to do great things. And I can't, can't wait to hear about it. I wish you all the best. Have a good summer, you guys, and we'll definitely miss you. Take care. Bye. Bye.